Hi lovelies, it's Andy. I recently got this question from Haley from Online Work and she asked me to submit a short article on what I struggled with on my entrepreneurial journey and I thought I would share it here with you guys on video. So the biggest thing that I have struggled with is my ego and I had to break down a lot of social conditioning of what my ego wanted and what my soul's purpose um, truly wanted me to do. So as a 36 year old I left Australia and moved to Sri Lanka and it just wasn't living up to my expectations and as I was getting older in my life stage, my life cycle and getting probably ready to have a baby which I did in Sri Lanka at yeah at 36. Um, and you know the back of my brain and my ego was just going I want a house I want the house in Australia what everybody else has um, you know my mum had a family home she looked after her kids um, I want to be near my family why don't I have this why why is this entrepreneurial journey like taking so long and I've got nothing to show for it um, and I had a lot of pain around that that I wasn't I didn't achieve and my husband's not also providing that family house for me as well um, and it was a constant obsession of mine that I just wanted to go home I was on this amazing journey of tapping into my potential, my fullest potential, my purpose, and I had finally found it after so many years of searching, um, but I was bombarded with this constant obsession, constant thought that I just want to go home, I just want to go home, I just want to go home. Um, and in Sri Lanka, I felt like I was going towards an, against an upward energy, it just wasn't right. But at the same time, it was right because I would never have created all the things that I created in Sri Lanka. I wrote a book. I created a course. Um, I created an Alexa voice experience. I developed an app. I created the Flow Love Game. And that would never have happened without Sri Lanka because it was a, a space where I was really shunned from the world again and to go within and to to create, to yeah, to create and to build. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do it without Sri Lanka. And then also coming to Vietnam, I still had that constant obsession, just want to go home. I didn't know what Vietnam was going to be like. And especially when I got to my luteal and menstrual phases, it was really strong. I was, I just wanted to go home. Those emotions that come up in the in your luteal and menstrual phases was just, this little girl just wanted to be, you know, held and supported. Um, but as the months have gone on um, in Vietnam, I started to detach from my ego of the house and what the house actually means. And I actually live an amazing lifestyle here in Da Nang with my family, with my toddler. And I've really put more value on lifestyle over the house. Um, we get to go to the beach every day. I live in flow. I can go to a yoga or a workshop anytime I want. I can get a massage. I can get the most amazing food here in Da Nang. And it has been a really amazing um, psychological shift from where I was four years ago, even th three years ago, because it's only in this since January um, that it's really broken my ego and that's also to do with going home I got to go home for Christmas in 2019 after all that obsessing of just wanting to go home just wanting to go home I finally got it and it wasn't what I expected it to be there was just felt no progress in the town where I was from or the area and my family hadn't changed they're not growing and they're not evolving and here in Da Nang in Vietnam the city is constantly growing and evolving I'm constantly growing and evolving and I've realized that growing and evolving is actually one of my highest value sets on my hierarchy of needs and I just want to grow as an individual and I'm so lucky that 
I've had this time away from my hometown to be able to do it and now I can really concentrate and focus on my purpose in life um, which is to help girls around the world love the game inside themselves, their menstrual cycles and share this with the world and um, now I just live in flow. I'm so happy on the inside, my mind is not obsessing about going home. I finally arrived in the place um, of my entrepreneurial journey where I can just now, I think, soar, really soar to my fullest potential.